just waiting for Rylea to finish up whatever they're doing at, and we'll get some more questing on the other way. And hopefully they'll join us in uh, chat soon. Kind of nice we've been seeing uh, people log in we haven't seen in a while, so. There he is. Hey, hey, hey! You ready to get some Aether Currents unlocked? Maybe. And probably a uh, side story chain along with it, knowing uh, them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, if everyone hears occasional eeks and ox and squeaks and dang it's from Tay, uh, they're currently dying in pandemonium. Yeah, I wish them luck. Just, just, just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well. <sighs> News of the week. Mm -hmm. Or night. Or whatever. Um, I had a major system failure last night. I had, I had a, a slightly less severe one this evening. Uh -huh. The good news was about that was the failure last night uh, was one where I could diagnose the probable culprit, which was my RAM. Yeah. A uh, bit over a week ago, my system had done a spontaneous reboot that I had no idea on, and I think it was the first sign of the RAM stick going. Uh, last night, basically, one of them just blew, and basically the motherboard refused to start because it knew something was wrong. Um, all day today, before the second failure, when the system basically just, you know, uh, turned off on me. Um, it had been experiencing all sorts of lag trying to swap between things, which is a familiar set of symptoms. Yes. They knows them well. Yes. Well, hopefully your lag will, um, And them. I'm kind of going, yeah, I, th I, I was noticing some, like, minor versions of that. I just thought I was chewing up more RAM than my system had. But I think that was the RAM stick starting to go. So I now have new RAM. I have twice as much RAM as I used to have. And the latency on this RAM is probably better. And certainly, so far, the system has has been very, very smooth tonight. Oh, good. We'll see what that's like after two, eh, about two days of me abusing it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. We got a blue bang over here. Annoying From... way, of course, I had Corel Draw open, and of course, Corel Draw does keep uh, backups. Just in case things like this happen. And on three things that were open, I have five backups. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> That's and not I'm not a good sure sign. that any of them are actually going to be any newer than the last thing I'd actually saved. So, oh. yeah, go with the save. <laughs> I I'll be taking a look at all that. Knocking way. Name that way. Is this um uh, part of a, a spinoff of the uh, Hit Lopper it series? What's my way? <laughs> Whose way is it anyway? Off and away. The way is right. <laughs> Knocking way would like you to call upon a friend. Hello, person. Yes, you. Do you two have a moment? We're here. You see, ever since we woke up for inspection, a friend of mine has been acting a little funny. Funnier than usual, even. I can hear him sighing all the way from over here. Would you go on and call on to him? 
as I do, but he always insists that nothing's wrong. I think he'll be unable to help himself from opening up to you two, though. He's always been ever so fond of people. Would you mind lending him an ear or two? How can he fond of people he's never met? Yeah. Hey, Octi. I suppose there's the, the the watcher. Does he really count? To them, they eh, he does. Mm. Many thanks to you. My friend's what name is Dreaming Way, and he should be somewhere nearby. Just follow the lamentationless suffering or snuffling. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Octi. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, trust me. Uh, I, I I, keep an amazing number of Firefox tabs open. Doesn't everyone? Uh, I know for a fact you don't keep as many tabs open as I do. Uh, yeah, because uh, I end up going, Dang it, why is Firefox eating all my memory? <laughs> Hello, Dreaming Way. No, no, they said he. Okay, go for it. Uh, stay focused, dreaming way. Sure, you're no working way, but... Oh. Oh my. Hello. You're not all over it. Mm, not last I checked. Am I dreaming? Is the day finally here? Am I truly talking with a visitor from, um, Aetherius? Uh, whatever can I uh, help you with, kind madam, sir? Uh, you look lost. You need help. <laughs> I think I should be asking you the asking very same Asking you that very same, same question. question. <laughs> How did you know? In any case, I shouldn't bother an honored guest with my silly troubles. Bother me. It's my job. <laughs> or at least your vocation. My calling. If you insist, perhaps I could share a nibble of what's on my mind. Ah, but first, may I ask your names? Uh... I'm Theron, and this is my annoying little sister, Rylia. No, you're the annoying one. <clears throat> Case in point. Rylia and Theron? Truly spectacular names. I'm sure it speaks to your character in one way or another. Uh, if only I could say the same for mine. Perhaps it was a mistake to choose dream from that tome of words, for try as I might, I have no such thing. And seeing everyone else live up to their name since our awakening has only made me more aware of it. People and theories on the other paw seem to dream a great deal. Have you any advice for me? Well, it depends on your definition of dream. Mm -hmm. uh, on one definition, it might, eh, we might want to just hand him over to Baron. <laughs> that would be the other definition. <laughs> Focus on what you love to do. Mm -hmm. Because having a dream doesn't mean you're good at it. It's just that you love to do it. But, but that's the problem. I haven't the foggiest idea what that would be. Hmm. Though my fellow low prints might. I've known them since, well, since we were created. So perhaps they can they see something in me that I cannot. With their help, you must be able to find an objectively appropriate dream for me to pursue. You know best what would be of service to mankind, after all. I'm all ears, so you need only tell me once you've come up with something. Anything at all.
the others have something to say about me. I'm sure they do. You all seem to know everybody else, and you all are opinionated, so... Ow. I'm being honest. <laughs> hmm. Ah, there we go. Hello, Cheery. Hmm. Well, yeah, back to you, baby. Hmm. He's no sluggard, I can tell you that. Always happy to lend a paw when there's work to be done. Compared to some others, well, let's just say he's a great help. Hmm. Sounds like he's a born adventurer. Hmm. Next one seems to be over this direction, and I probably should have pulled out Lurza. That bad, huh? Ah, uh, not that bad, bad, but uh, it's a little bit of a distance. I have feet. I know how to use them. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I know how to use follow. Funny how that works. Stern Lopperet. You want to know about Dreaming Wood? I can't say I know him terribly well. He's always rushing off to a new task just as soon as he finishes the old one. I've always thought him a good sort, though. So, very industrious and helpful. Easy-going Lopret. Dreaming way. He can do anything he sets his mind to. He doesn't complain about getting his paws dirty, either. That said, I'm not sure I could think of anything he's particularly gifted at. Ah, uh, a jack-of-all-trades. I know them well. Mm -hmm. And then back to Dreaming Way. Come on, mm. Toby! You can do it! As a little fill-in while we run, uh, questing my little girl over on the JP Data Center. She is just about ready to hit Shadowbringers. Scions are dropping like flies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did they have a lot of interest to share? Please say they did. Oh, that was you. Sorry. Yes. My did bad. They have of, did they have a lot of interest to share? Please say they did. That's more or less what I expected, I suppose. Nice enough, but in no way gifted. Perhaps I was never meant to dream. It's never too late to dream. Okay. You really think so? Goodness, people are truly as, as kind as they say. In that case, I promise not to give up until we've found my dream, even if it's the last thing I do. Huh, I got grim. Well, let's exhaust our other options before we go for anything potentially lethal, shall we? I think that's an excellent idea. Yep, and we've hit story chain. A way to make a living. Dreaming Way would show you how he spends his day. My warmest and fuzziest thanks for your continued help, Rylea. Theron, I was thinking, if the other Lopperets can't tell you what I might be best at, perhaps you could follow me around and see for yourself. My primary work includes gathering materials, equipment maintenance, and, most importantly, carrot production. All indispensable to our day-to-day -day operations, as I'm sure you'll agree. As for what to show you, Perhaps a spot of foraging? Everyone likes a good forage. We'll need to go and see Thinking Way and Greatest Innsvale first. They're the lopperet who allocates this sort of work. 
I'd hate to step on any toes. Being a jack of all trades is not a bad thing. <laughs> trying to file in your file systems? Yeah. Hello, thinking way. Dreaming way. Start with dreaming way? Yeah. Is that me? Yes. Uh. By the way, your obs is off. Oh... <laughs> yeah, we ha we run a stellar production here. <laughs> hey, you can't go anywhere for this kind of quality. <sighs> Thinking way always has some manner of vegetable, mineral, or ooze of indeterminate origin in need of gathering. Oh, right, 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 right. I have a. I see you have a rather special companion today, Dreaming White. What's the occasion? Oh, nothing of import. She's either simply here to observe me as I go about my day. Speaking of which, are there any tasks in need of doing? As a matter of fact, there are. Building Way is in need of more crystals. Could you perchance find some? But of course. I suppose he'll want the usual assortment. Right then, it's off to Valis Vul Vulneris. I'll go on ahead and look for suitable deposited crystals. Yeah, he he's an adventurer. He just doesn't know it yet. Mm -hmm. Go here, do that, mind this, gather that, hold this, protect that. It's all a little daily lot for us. The ultimate busybodies. <laughs> hmm. Looks like we'll have to take the doggo. Ooh. What's Love wrong? Doggo. What's wrong with the doggo? He's a goodest boy. That's a good doggo. It's still a doggo. <laughs> You know, cats and dogs can live together. As hysteria. <laughs> Hello, Argos. Thank you for waiting patiently for us. You're such a good boy. Though obviously he has been to the groomers a few times. Hmm. How else can he make that coat shine that way? As we dodge the slender tenders. <laughs> ah, fine. Mm -hmm. Is something missing? Oh, chic. <laughs> I thought I saw you get on. I'm sorry. No. My bad. Okay, fine. 
I'm sorry. Oh, they're in the cave system, aren't they? How to get to the cave system from here. I am feeling less guilty about the one time with Dave by the day. I said I'm sorry. Can you go up that? We're going down. Oh. Ah, Bellows film Vulneris. Okay. This be more of my fishing holes. Ooh, fancy. Ah, you found me. Truth be told, while I was waiting, I felt an itch to get started and er before I knew it, I'd gathered all the crystals building way it will need. I have a feeling he could use some sand as well, though, so why not collect it while we're here? I'm sure one bit of grey sand looks much like the rest to you, but trust me, the grey sand here is the best. Simply enough work. So would you care to join me? Sure, why not? I need to level my craft, my uh, gathering anyway. Splendid! I'll let you have the deposits right outside the croft. Those are always so delightfully pretty. Return here when you've filled a bag or two. This isn't going to count for mining, is it? No. Mm. Anyway. Hello, Selene. Ah, here's a pile of grand gray sand. This is a neat piece of music. Um, we tried to not speak of that one time with Dave. I can't believe uh, he brought that up. Yeah, well... It is definitely on, on the uh, let us not think of it again pile. This is what you're Gray looking for? sand. Coarse sand obtained from the lunar surface. Lovely as ever. Building Way will be delighted. We should make our delivery to Thinking Way as soon as possible. Last one, there's a moldy carrot. Yeah, uh, we'll be taking the Doggo Express. Suppose he gets across. I don't know. Uh, actually, he's something of an adventurer. He's probably already unlocked all the Aether currents. <laughs> Lucky bunny. Yeah, that's what you get for being a native. I have to admit, I do like this piece of music. I know so a lot- So you have said many, many times. Sorry. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people just go gaga over Sokin when he does a lot of his uh, big dramatic music for the raids and stuff and his songs. And I'm actually not that fond of that. But when he does atmospheric stuff, he is a god. Um, well, he's definitely had some good epic pieces. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, it's just, I've noticed that a lot of things that a lot of people completely go gaga over, I'm like, meh. I mean, it, it all does what it's supposed to do. And that right there is a lot. It's just not something I would sit down and listen to per se. Can you give any examples? Uh, I have no idea what other people are going gaga over. Other than Lahi. Well, Lahi is definitely one, but that's one of his atmospheric pieces. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Atmospheric pieces? Um, the, the biggest one that comes to mind is the main song they have for the Seat of Sacrifice. And I'm like, eh? It's actually uh, kind of a week <laughs> in my uh, book. Which one is the Seat of Sacrifice? Uh, that was the big trial against the Warrior of Light in Shadowbringers. That's either... It's either that one or the one next to it. Is it... Is it... The one that... that, that that's the basically the variant of the main song? Uh, no. Okay. Because there's one right in that sequence that is that, and that one is really good. Um, I know a lot of people really liked a lot of the rehash they did for um, uh, the recent album Pulse. That was it. Yeah. Well. And you know, you know, that's not my kind of music. No, it's not. Of course, I know you actually agree with a number of people with liking the theme for the twinning, and of course, that doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, the long fall. Well, part of it is I've always liked the main Allegan theme in Domnable and its various uh, rewrites. Uh, I, I will admit that the long fall is very much a dancing theme, it's not a listening theme. And let's be honest, we grew up with listening music, not dancing music. <laughs> it's okay. one of the reasons why I adore Rush, and Ellen, uh, my publisher, can't stand Rush, is you can't dance she to what? it. what? No, she cannot stand Rush. What is wrong with her? She can't dance to it. <laughs> so? Uh, now, to be fair... All the stuff she's used to having thrown down her throat for Rush is all the stuff that they play on the radio, which uh, basically comes down to Tom Sawyer, which is like one of the pieces from Rush I don't like. So... <laughs> so not a lot of uh, Middle Kingdom or uh, 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 Manhattan Project. Yeah. Or the other geeky stuff that they do. Correct. The one that always well, gets the air. Problem. The one that always. <laughs> no, Bitor and the Snow Dog. Uh... No, that one doesn't do much for me. <laughs> no, Fly by Night. Fly by Night's actually <sighs> probably one of my favorites. I know I should know it, but I can't think of what it's like off the top but of yeah it's mostly tom sawyer tom sawyer and more tom sawyer which is like i can't stand this piece <laughs> and i don't think i've heard it uh you probably have and they've wiped it from your mind so uh i don't blame you <laughs> i certainly wouldn't have recognized it as rush streaming way putting in is an important part of my duties you should try it We've reported in a lot of quests. Trust me, kid. Ah, that was efficient. Did you manage to procure what I asked for? And more. I thought that Building Way might want some of that oh so sandy uh, Valis Vulnera sand. So we went ahead and gathered that, too. Now that you mention it, he did ask me to premier procure more gray sand. Heavens, it would have been embarrassing if I turned up without a grain. Do you remember what he needed it for? Mm, I vaguely recall mentioning of a pit full of the stuff. Apparently, the children of Athreus enjoy such things. 
I'm Mark. You don't need especially great sand for a sandbox. No. I'm Mark curious about how you were aware of this request. Building Way said he hadn't told anyone but me about his latest project. Well, I must have overheard you two talking when I was out collecting crystals last time. Given how far the grot is from here, that seems incredibly unlikely. But never mind that. You brought the sand, and for that, I'm grateful. See what I mean? That's some good sand. Hmm. Now, while enjoying this tiny glimpse of my day-to-day -day life, did you find any dreams I might be capable of aspiring to? Yeah, you're a replacement Raider O'Reilly. Am I wrong? Mm -hmm. He's an adventurer through and through. Uh, of the crafting variety. Yes. Oh, don't worry if you haven't. We've only just begun, after all. <coughs> I really must learn to be patient. Surely the right inspiration is out there, just waiting to strike. Oh dear. Thinking way? Thank you again for gathering that sand for building way. One way or another. One way, way or another. Yeah, <laughs> given we were just talking about music, that was inevitable. Sorry. I mean, it's an obvious reference when I know it's coming. <laughs> And no, Foxfire, those lyrics don't sound familiar. Dreaming Way is eager to set about his next task, whatever it may be. Let's waste no time in continuing our, our work, shall we? Thinking Way, have you any other jobs for me? Well, I suppose there's a caretaker that wants for repairing. If I recall... uh, sorry about that. We have disassembled a few. But they nah. attacked us first. Yeah, well. If I recall correctly, the particular parts you need will be over at Himdel's last night. I'll get right to it. It looks like we're on maintenance duty. Join me at Heimdall's last site as quickly as you can. Come on, Toby, we've got work to do. Um, thinking way. Oh. I imagine Dreaming Way will be at Hintel's last sight by now. It's not that he isn't much faster than the rest of us, but he's impossible to slow down once he sets himself on a task. Yeah, he, he's totally an adventurer. <laughs> Deft Arm would be proud of him. Mm-hmm. Of which, you still need to uh, finish off the Amalja. Yes. Considering I've only barely begun them, yes. Day two of five of, uh, uh, for rank one. Yeah, we got sidetracked by MSQ, didn't we? Uh, something like that. I'm just sad we never got a combined story for uh, the first with all the beast tribes. Yeah. Sigh. Leave really big sigh. Now, Hemdel's last sight, we did not need to take Argos. No. Ah, right. Right, right, the ship. So, apparently we won't be going anywhere near that far out before we have a stop. That is okay.
<laughs> yeah, that's pretty much right. Dreaming way. Here you are. I was beginning to worry you'd abandoned the request. No, no. Me no, no. an adventure. It's a lot more to abandon to abandon the quest. Uh, Here is the thought. Now to the Heimdall. Follow me. So right between those two elegant. Three. There's three. Well, he went between two of them and straight at the third. Gonna dodge around all the uh, Allegan tech. Uh. According to our records, this vessel landed on the moon about five years ago. What? What? Did it come from Dalamud? It might have, but either that or um, that's five years from their previous um, hibernation. Yeah. It's been a wonderful source of spare parts. Uh huh. And also of horrible mechanical monsters, but never mind, never you mind that. I've been here countless times by now, so you can leave the salvaging to me. Simply relax and enjoy the view. Oh, it's never that simple, Dreaming Way. Well, actually, no. I mean, it's five years from 1 0 to 2 0. But it's been. Well... Something like. Nine months to a year for each expansion, I think. Oh, there's our destination. Hmm. We shall see, but yeah, that time frame seems questionable, yeah. especially with all the growth and plant life that started up with the fungi. Yeah, it does seem awfully fast for five years. I was thinking that too. This is apparently not him. You. Oh, boil my carrots! This colorful expletive is followed by the telltale screech of a lopperet in distress. Perhaps you have to check on Dreaming Way. Well, maybe it is him, then. I figured we'd recognize his voice. We shall see. So oh, that, uh, that's an expletive for you. Boil my carrots. Yes. Especially if it's an English boil. Yeah, there is that. Yeah, he's in trouble. Here, eat a Bahamut. Tasty. How do you feel about that, Bahamut? Yeah. <laughs> Thank heavens you were here. I tried to run, but I tripped. That gray sand is not nearly as pleasant when it's in my mouth, let me tell you. It typically isn't. <sighs> And here, I was hoping to show you what a competent and capable worker I could be on my own. I did manage to get the parts we need, though, so all's well that ends well. Meet me at the Curatorium, and we'll see if we can't fix that caretaker. Five years ago. Yeah, I'm having trouble buying that. Yeah. Especially What's since... their definition of a year, for one thing? Uh, this is also very true. <coughs> also, they describe it as a ship. But if, if it was a piece of Dalamud, it wouldn't be a ship. Oh, a... It 
came down from the sky, therefore presumably Shep. On the other hand, I was thinking it was like a uh, a service vessel or something docked at Dalamud. That is possible as well. Hopefully we'll get some more story on that. Yeah, boy, they sure can't just leave that hanging out there. And if they do, I suppose it's something more for the uh, next Guns on the Mantle video. <laughs> I need to rewatch it and see what all the things in it were. Have they addressed any of them? that we've seen yet? Um... Mostly they were, uh... wards the same way you've got the sword wards here. What? No, no. Oh. In your... Hmm? Guns on the Mantle video. Um... The very distinguishing plot threads. Not yet. The biggest one we've seen is the one engineer inside the Terminus who ended up talking to a fellow that's like, hmm, you sound like you were talking to Sid, or uh, not Sid, um, Nero. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The What's happened to Nero? Yeah, we have had some potential hints there. Yeah, that'd be the main one. Okay, Dreaming Way, what you got? Yeah, um, sorry. I think I shot him earlier. As you can see, this is the caretaker that needs our attentions. thing's not even able to move right now, but it'll be good as new once I'm done with it. Can I be at a suitably in a suitable distance to not be an aggro radius when you start it up? That would be helpful, yes. Shift this over there, stick the thingamabob, uh, thingamabob in the what's it, and I heard that success. Well, he is indeed looking better. Please don't beat up on me. <laughs> I don't want to have to destroy all g the good work Dreaming Way did. Restored to pristine condition in no time at all. It's snow enough to make similar repairs, though. It's really nothing special. And I cannot even imagine how one would go about building such a machine from scratch. No, oh, something tells me my dream lies elsewhere. I suppose that's more than mm, we had to go on before, though. Not to mention that there's still one job of mine I haven't shown you yet. Do you care to see how we grow carrots? Sure, why not? Well then, let's hop to it! <sighs> he moved. Hey, the caretaker didn't beat us up, so I think you did an awesome repair job. Mm-hmm. at the potential rewards. Wine Dirk Soup. First of all, do you have any idea what reference they're presumably making? Well, th that's kind 
of a mixed one because that was not its original name when the uh, expansion dropped. Oh. Yeah, it was originally called Beet Soup, but there's already a different Beet Soup in the game. Oh dear. So yeah, it, it caused conflict. That also explain and that also explains the uh, the uh, description. But uh, Wine Dirk Soup, Homer, the Wine Dirk Sea. Hmm. Usual, you know, poetic allusion to, you know, like the Black Sea and such. Yeah. A creamy variety of beet soup, though no self-respecting Shirleyan would ever utilize such vulgar nomenclature. Ever. <laughs> the glory bee glory soup. Bee soup, which we've seen before. Mm -hmm. Hamza curry. I'm taking Rats that hunt, Steve. Little, you know, mm -hmm. no, nothing special there. And Kearney York. Topped with a single slice of tomato, this baked stuffed eggplant is positively bursting with hamza meat and rich spices. Dream a little dream. Yeah, we are getting all the music references. Mm hmm. Dreaming Way has one last demonstration for you. Well, Aurelia, Theron, are you excited to learn about the wonderful world of carrot cultivation? Not there, that there's much to it, truth be told. We simply place the seeds in the machine, water them, and then reap the sweet rewards. In the... Oh dear. It's so easy that, uh, well, anyone could do it. Hmm. As far as I know, you're an anyone. Why not try it for yourself? Oh, completing menial tasks is so much more fun with friends. Pray take these seeds and follow me. I do believe there's an open creation station nearby. By the way... The location to harvest Carrots of Happiness is out by Himdal's site. Himdal's site. And I'm like, Okay, then. Why? <laughs> yeah. These things actually grow wild? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I... I, uh, I have questions that need answering about that ship come on Arzo, you can do it and not fall off I mean it's most definitely Allegan technology but is it a ship or, or what and how long ago did it really come down dreaming ways over here he's on the opposite side no oh. hidden Go on, place the seeds in here. In a tile bed. Okay then. Carrot seeds. A bunch of carrot seeds just begging to be planted. Fortunately for you, I am an expert gardener. That carefree tossing motion of yours seems to have scattered the seeds nicely. Now, of course, they'll need water. Water crystals, to be precise. And this isn't the only machine in need of replenishment. Why don't you pay a visit to the sparkling supply station over in the northeast corner, and then bring a crate of crystals to the creation station nearby? You know, we do have watering cans. We, we, we could just water them directly. Yeah, you know that's not going to fly. <laughs> I don't know, it's only a couple more uh, uh, Aether Currents before it flies. Creative Crystals. Take the bucket of crystals to the creation station and to the southwest before your arms give out. You have 90 seconds, beware of enemies. Yep, the usual. Like him. And him. 
A bucket of water is all you need. Character creation station. Yeah. They don't grow carrots. They... No. They rehydrate them. Or something. That should be enough to make our carrots grow nice and big. And the machine converts the, uh, them into water bit by bit, so we never need worry that the seedlings are too wet or too dry. Oh, don't you just love that sound? What, did you not hear the tone just now? It's telling us the, uh, there are carrots ready for harvesting. Might be out of my hearing range. They're not, uh, they're not at this station, but I am certain I heard the joyous sound of two ripened carrots. You may as well see this through to the end. Pulling them is the best part. Let's see, where are these stations? Because everything here is so freaking big! Yeah, he has some ears. But we knew that. They're almost Viera ears. The fact that they are different size slash shape ears from Viera is a nice touch. Mm-hmm. Come on, Ursa, you can do it! Nope. That's panda. Uh, that's panda four down. Oh, very nice. And there's our carrot of happiness. Were you able to get all your token drops, or are you just going for your clears at the moment? Uh, I got token drops that I needed. Yay! But I don't have any tokens taking up inventory space. is it's hard for me to jump when I'm moving if I'm not actually using my keyboard. Eh. <sighs> I heard that. I bet you did. Dreaming in Dreaming Way probably heard it too. He does seem to have an ear for that kind of thing. Oh, maybe he actually did hear that conversation from half a zone away. Eh? Yeah, it is likely. Which means that's his special talent. He's a good listener. Do I smell carrots? That was rhetorical. It definitely smells like carrots in here. Carrot of happiness. A freshly harvested carrot guaranteed to make one forget life's woes. Mmm, mouth-watering. That's really all there is to it, and to my days, to put it plainly. I apologize for not being more interesting to follow around. So, have you any ideas for or a dream that would suit a Loperet like me? <laughs> oh no. What do you do when you're not working?
I, um, what do I do? <sighs> it seems it just wasn't meant to be. I should never have taken such an extraordinary name, being so very ordinary myself. If only I had some sort of skill to set me apart from the others. Aside from hearing things no one else does, I suppose. You know, that is a talent. Do you like listening to music? Uh, I see where this night is going. rid of this music of yours, though I'm afraid I don't understand why you all enjoy it so much, or why you must write it down in such cryptic ways. Uh, so if he ends up, you know, writing music, should he change his name to Sokenway? <laughs> Ooh, drink hit below the waterline! <laughs> The mic's cutting out on your guys' end. <sighs> um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. The mic is trying to protect itself. <laughs> what are you two up to? Ridley and Theron were just suggesting that I put the dream and dreaming way through the pursuit of music. Oh, kind of. Music? I can't say I'm familiar. Yes, we love Ritz. They can do something similar. A whole lung noise face thing. <laughs> Look, let's just try it and see how it sounds. Come on, Mockingway. One, two, three. Come on, you do like to hum. It's like humming. Yeah, there you go. Goodness, that's terribly fun. Mm, I must confess, humming in tandem certainly has a charm that snorting or shrieking does not, I'd be interested to, in much more of this music, I dare say. Then that will be my dream, bringing joy to others through music. Who knows, perhaps I can inspire others to pursue their own dreams, too. There you go. Um, that was fast. What were those noises? What's this all about? Why, the gift of music, of course. Like this. be correct in assuming that that tune is ripped right out of four because i never got as far as the operates for four um not sure i didn't pay attention but likely <laughs> i i think that might be enough musicking for one day i don't know how i'll ever thank you you've changed my life Finally, I can hold my head high, knowing that my heart will guide my way forward. Dreaming Way has a dream! And Foxfire, that, that was, that was awful. <laughs> Dreaming Way? At long last, I am living my dream. I hope that someday I can repay your kindness. I cannot thank you enough for helping my dear friend. 
I hadn't realized he was so upset over not having a dream, of all things. You helped him the only way a person of Atreus can. I still have my other tasks to attend to, of course, but I promise to practice every day. Eventually, I want to go beyond just humming and compose original music. When next we meet, I hope you'll once again lend me an ear. Maybe even two! Yeah, I think I'm taking the money. Bye, adorable ones! Mm -hmm. <gasps> He's me. There's no excuse for you, and you know it. Alluring Alag. The first Clopperet has a mind to do something dangerous and has clearly heard of your proclivity for recklessness. I heard you two have a pension for excitement and adventure. Is that correct? Did I assume. But a rumor. Then I assume in your travels you've doubtless heard of the Alagans. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Our two choices are the elegance, don't get me started, and yes, nearly everything wrong in the world seems to be their fault. That is not correct, but the first, but it's pretty damn close. Anything that, that's wrong in the world that isn't their fault is a hawk. I'm going with uh, don't get me started. Yeah. <sighs> but both of them are good answers. I thought as much. I ask because I have plans to survey the Elegan Relic not far from here. The weapons guarding it, however, make it too dangerous for me to go alone. I trust you see where this is going. Are you interested in a little adventure? Are you paying? <laughs> Much obliged. Now let's be off. No time to waste. So I guess we're getting a little more backstory into Heimdall's uh, site. Presumably. Okay. Um, I just finished reading the first book of uh, The Expanse the other day. Like, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yesterday. And there was one bit just going, yeah, yeah. The, this, this is about right. Because they've finally gotten back around to tracking down the source of trouble. And it's just moored next to this asteroid, and they're looking at it going, there's probably not going to say exactly what, because one, it need, one spoiler, two, it, it, it needs explaining out of context, but probably danger inside. Yep. Want to look? Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> or, or actually, it's just, oh yeah! Let me guess. Waterfall up ahead? Yep. Sharp rocks at the bottom? Most likely. Bring it. <laughs> <sighs> A very good moment from a movie full of them. What you get after a uh, Friday a lunch at Chevy's trying to figure out how to save your job. Yeah, pretty much. And many, many, many margaritas.
gotcha is just up ahead. If you find anything that may prove useful, I'd be grateful if you could retrieve it for me. Onwards, then! Eh, er, um, after you. Eh, that's how we're doing this. Right. Fluffy butt, get out of here. Thank you. Let's see, we want to be on the opposite sides, so. Hmm. Really? Yeah, let's. Urza this. Pine. I mean, it does. Kinda look like a ship, but yeah, an airship. Yeah, a little at least. hard to say. Oh, oh, oh! Turn around. System cube. Hello, little system cube. Let's see if we can boot you up. This apparatus is offline, but appears to be transportable. You place it in your ambiguously sized bag. <laughs> Thank you. And then back down, uh, back this way. Fascinating remnant. Looks almost like a teleport circle or an energy uh, pipeline. This bit of Allegan technology is certainly fascinating. A shame it's too bulky to carry back. Ah, oh, it won't fit in our ambiguously sized bag. But it still counted as two of three. Oh, that's getting too far. Oh. Ah, over here. Well, hello! We have a node! Fascinating remnant. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <sighs> yep, that's it. This may be less fascinating once we're done with it. Oops. I think we broke it again. Yep. Oh dear, he's gotten into trouble. <sighs> you okay there? and that drone would have had would have alerted more now did you find anything of interest oh let me have a look no you're right we must wait until we get back yeah well Back to the burrow. Mm -hmm.
Is this the right way? Yeah, yeah. I was one crater section off mentally. Mm. Not hard to do. Honest, they've put a lot of work into this place. Yep. Yeah, this thing really is huge. Mm-hmm. And some part of me thinks it's not going to be big enough. Um, yeah. I do wonder if they've come anywhere close to a good estimate of the population. Safe at last. Now, show me what you found. We found a system cube. As the program installed on this all-purpose storage and operations device is not currently functional, it is difficult to tell what it does. This is an Alagram decryption unit. With it, we could read Alagram tombstones about history, science, poetry, if we had any, which we do not. An adventure for another day, I suppose. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm sure I have plenty of spare tombstones. Yeah, and they're all poetics. Poetics all the way down. Mostly, yeah. Oh. Hmm? So... I was looking at my newsfeed on uh, Sakura at lunch, mm. and the usual, you know, I, I've got the usual default things in there, but I do have it that, the, you know, give me, like, archaeology news and astronomy news. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, of course, it isn't like they go out and categorize everything. They just kind of do, oh, this mentions this, so it's that. Uh-huh. So I was trying to figure out why an FF14 article was showing up in my astronomy uh, feed. <laughs> Do you know why? Uh, the moon? Nope. Or are they going off about the uh, FF14 constellations? Nope. Our latest raid currency. <sighs> Allegan Tombstones of Astronomy. Right. <laughs> but not of ichthyology, Humph. No. Maybe next time. Nevertheless, I'm deeply excited by the prospect. I'm sure you can tell. You have my heartfelt gratitude. Yes, Foxfire, that would be good. Meet the, uh, meet the, uh, the, uh, tombstone vendor. Yeah. And our Aether Currents, we are just missing the last one, which means we're just about ready to leave the zone. Yeah, and it's main story that will do it. Yeah, which we'll have to wait until Friday. Yeah, sorry. Ooh! The good news is we have cleared everything else out of the docket. Yeah, and we've only got a... And we synth... need some beautiful music. Mm-hmm. And we've only got one piece of the map to uncover, which is the uh, Cradle the of Center. Darkness. Yeah, yeah, I, I certainly don't want to get any closer to that than I really have to. So that will be it for us for th for tonight. Uh, we will be back on Friday, starting at 10, hopefully. 
Uh, doubtfully, it'll be earlier, despite my best hoping. It will probably be later, but uh, we'll try. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that night, Rai does a lot of gaming with her dad, so... Mm -hmm. Gaming with family is important. And it's still hers, come on. <laughs> Um, also, so you know, mm -hmm. um, presumably Jason will be over Saturday. I was thinking Sunday, but we're having to sh shuffle the, the schedule around because Patch had a scheduling conflict. Ah, that makes sense. Well, so I... it should be me and Jason uh, uh, this Saturday and then, um, or sorry, Sunday. Ah, yeah, switching to Sunday, presumably. And then a week from Saturday will be four of us. This patch can't make it on Sunday, which was the original plan. Just so folks know, we will probably stream early on Saturday and do a lot of big uh, stream stuff then, but feel free to go watch Baron stream instead. <laughs> 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 it's probably more entertaining anyway. <laughs> no, more artistic. That is definitely true. In any case, you guys have a great evening. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next time. Be safe, be well, sleep well, and hope to see you on Friday. Not yeah. everyone. Everyone have a great night. <laughs>